Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Dump Fanatic, and welcome to week one, the inaugural season, the inaugural, I can't even speak English, the inaugural week of the inaugural season of the Baby League, hosted by none other than El Sizzle, aka Lars. Um, today we're up against Exilix and... The team name I have forgotten, very professional of me, obviously. While I load that up, you can actually see the teams on the screen right in front of you. I want to just say, um, weeks one to three um, are all being played in the space of about three or four days. Um, I'm also trying to play about six or seven league battles in the space of about a week, um, which means that video quality may be hindered slightly. Um, <clears throat> basically, e.g. no team builders. And I'm actually quite interested in doing team builders for this league because a lot of the mons you see are not normal things. Um, so what I'll do for week one to through to week three, so week one, week two and week three, I'll put a link to Poke Paste in the description below. Um, but to quickly sort of overview, actually, sorry, let me just get the team name first. Exilix name is De Detroit. I can't speak. Detroit Torricats uh, is the team we're up against. But you'll have seen that now in the title anyway. So I'll give you a brief overview of um, his draft, if you bear with me two seconds. He has got Stai, Munchlax, Growlithe, Scraggy, Snivy, Flabebe, Hone Edge, Tyrant, Helioptile, and Cubone. Um, my team is as follows. Follows. Um, we have got Apom, which is Phytinium Z with low kick. Um, low kick's just normal Munchlax, and then Z low kick was for the Scraggy, which I thought may come. There's also Tyrant as well, which may have been an issue. Um, we've got Fizz Def Hippopotas for Tyrant, which definitely did come in the end. Um, I believe we've got uh, Fizz Def uh, Tentacle, because I felt I could get away with not having special defense investment on this thing because um, it's really bulky on the special side without any investment anyway obviously it's max HP we've got adamant guts assault vest timber because as you can look at the matchup with poison jab um, mac punch drain punch I do like I don't think there's actually he hasn't got anything that takes a hit like fighting is neutral against his whole team and then super effective against um, free so mac punch is gonna be huge this game Shelmet is here, which I think is actually especially defensive because I had it as my best answer um, for Staryu, I believe, because um, obviously Staryu can run Psychic, which could still do a number to my tentacle. Um, it would also potentially help with a uh, setup um, Snivy if you decided to bring it, which is very possible because as you can see, my team may not deal with a Snivy too well. However, I do have lots of things that outspeed it. And then finally, Litleo is probably the most uh, meme set this week. It's got Hyper Voice and Fire Blast, I believe, with Silk Scarf. However, um, I am running Incinerate and what is my other move? Endeavor. Basically because I know he's going to bring Munchlax as a switching because otherwise um, Lilio does a really good amount of work to his team as you can probably see. Outspeeds a lot of it um, and, and Hyper Voice and Flame for a quite spamble other than against this Munchlax and this uh, Tyrant. But yeah, that's the team incinerators there basically to try and get rid of a berry that that Munchlax will have. Um, we'll soon see if that works out in this game though. So we are trained, uh, trained, we are challenged by trainer Exilix. This is a postcon by the way, um, obviously not live. So sorry if I forget what has happened because it's been a few days since I've actually had this battle. So, gonna lead off of Apom because it's probably my easiest lead. Um, basically, like I said in my team uh, analysis for the season, everyone's gonna bring a Rocky Helmet user against me when I because Apom is probably going to come like every game because it's that good. Um, I'm just going to U-turn turn one because one it'll help me scout and see if anything has got Rocky Helmet and two it gives me the initiative and doesn't want to switch. So we do soon find out that his Growlithe is in fact uh, Rocky Helmet which is fine it means he's not got leftovers recovery. Um, so I'm going to go out into my Litleo because I'm like right well this thing can't touch me unless it has close combat and I don't know if it's this cat can get close combat or if it's just Arcanine. Um, so I can click Hyper Voice, but I'm going to predict the switching to the Munchlax, and I'm like, yes, the prep is going to pay off. I'm going to click Incinerate, I'm like, burn that berry. If you burn the berry of Incinerate, you cannot recycle it, except these leftovers. So that was really upsetting. Um, so I'm going to have to switch out here because this thing does just kind of bore me. Um, so I'm, and if it's a setup variant, I need to go into my Hippopotas so I can roll this thing out. However, he is going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Staryu, and then it's at this point where I was like, I have to switch out. If he's analytic, my um, tentacle really can't take a hit very well. Um, so I'm going to make the play because it is my best play. Um, and he goes for the psychic. And it turns out it is analytic. And it turns out it's life orb. And I'm basically dead. Um, I think the only thing he had in his team which could set up some sort of hazards was the tyrant. 
So, I'm not too concerned about him being rocks because I'm expecting Tyrant to maybe like a setup variant or choice scarf potentially. And he goes for the Surf, which is a safe play. And no point in me really keeping Tens Call around because it's not going to do anything this game. Um, so I'm forced to go into my Timber at this point because nothing on my team outspeeds this. I'm just going to have to make him think that I can live a Psychic, which I can um, because of the Assault Vest. So I'm just going to click, um, I believe, Knock Off because I wanted to basically get rid of that thing as Life Orb. I wasn't expecting him to stay in. With me bringing a Timber in against that thing, uh, he must be expecting me to be the Psychic Berry or Assault Vest or something. Um, but I do knock his things uh, Rocky Helm off, which is fantastic, because um, because now I can just spam Tail Slap and I knock something off my desk. Um, he does will me here and talking about this after the game, he realised as soon as he clicked I was probably Guts, which I am because I knew that um, Growlithe was going to be his check to Timber, because he literally has nothing in his draft that can deal with it. Um, not even Hone Edge, for example, because I do get the knock off. Um, so he does burn me, which is great, um, and even after Intimidate, I've done a whole load of damage, assuming this thing's a Fizz Death Growlithe, because he needs it. Um, I'm expecting to click Morning Sun here, so I am going to actually just switch out into my Apom, so I can threaten this thing out with a Tail Slap. However, I didn't do the count before I made the switch, so actually Tail Slap won't kill even without the Intimidate. So I'm going to U-turn here, and I'm like, if he stays in, is he actually going to Will-O-Wisp, or is he going to try and get some damage off on me? So I'm actually going to switch out into my Hippopotas because I want to set my rocks up. Rocks could be really crucial in this game. However, he decides to Will-O-Wisp and he lands it. So if I'd have gone into Timber, that would have been in a really good position right now um, to actually just take this thing out with a Dream Punch um, and, and Mac Punch combo. Um, but that isn't the case, and now I'm a Burnt Hippopotas, which is not good. And in comes the Staryu, and I'm thinking he's just bringing Staryu because he knows he's going to spin away rocks. Um, this is where the game literally takes a turn for the worst. I am going to stay in because I am fully expecting him to click um, the Rapid Spin because Growlithe um, won't appreciate it and not a lot of his team with. However, he stays in and just clicks that. And I was very confused because I thought he might think I might switch into my Shelmet. However, um, he kills me off. So, again, um, I've lost him on um, to this powerhouse. Dayu is going to be incredibly good for him this season, I can already tell you that. I have to bring in Timber because it's the only thing that can take a hit, really. And do some damage back. This time he actually decides to stay in and click Psychic, and I am going to live. And because Dayu is at a huge amount of health still, um, I'm going to get a decent amount of HP back from this Drain Punch, which is fantastic. So now staryu has gone, um, Timber's going to be like really, really effective for me this game. Um, Mac Punch is now also looking incredibly good. Staryu is one of the things that could take it the best on his team. Um, so in comes the Tyrant, and so based on a calc of a normal max speed, max attack Tyrant, this is like a 60-40 in his favour, but I have to click Mac Punch. Turns out he had uh, HP investment, so it, it was very much in his favour he's going to live, but the fact that he lived on 1 HP there, 1 HP, was so infuriating. Now, if I had a Rocky Helmet user there, I'd have probably just gone into it and sacked it off come in and click Mac Punch because Mac Punch would have been a guaranteed kill. Here I make a huge misplay which just cost me the game. Um, Shelmet will take a hit. I am Spadef like I said and that does, that does way more than I thought. Um, I didn't do a calc so that is all on me. That is my fault. I should have calced it and I should have just clicked Giga Drain. However, he gets the free turn outrage so now I'm like well shit I have to, uh, I have to, I have to let this thing die. Um, and I get Toxic Spikes up which in the long run probably wouldn't help me because I have enough bulk and um, sort of power to get through the rest of his team. Even if I had just clicked recover there, I would have been pretty much back at full health after leftovers. So again, I don't know why I clicked Toxic Spikes. Literally threw the game away. I go into my Litleo because I now have Litleo and Apom left. Um, I figured out this thing scarfed at this point, um, but he does break through confusion and he lands the outrage and I'm a, I'm a dead Litleo, sadly. Um, I haven't done any counts, don't know if it was a roll, but um, yeah, he breaks through the confusion there. So it's just Apom versus the world, and I know the game's over at this point because he's got Intimidate on Growlithe. Um, but of course, he's just going to break through confusion twice in a row. So Slightly annoying that he does break through confusion twice and hit me with all the outrages, which he did. Um, but it was my fault that I got into that position in the first place. I just made some very stupid plays. Can't Upon reflection, can't even tell you why I made those stupid plays, but... It's what was done. Um, possibly my brain was a bit fried because I think I built a few teams the same day as I battled him. Um, and it was quite a late battle anyway because of time zones and stuff. 
So yeah, sadly we do get absolutely destroyed. Hax wasn't in our favour in the sense that he got through confusion twice, but I played myself incredibly badly into that position. The roll wasn't in my favour, but you know, it's just incredibly frustrating that he lived on one health. If I had anything with Rocky Helmet, you know, that thing would have killed himself. I'd have been in a great position, and I actually think Litleo and Apom would have. Apom itself probably would have been enough just to, to clean up throughout the rest of the game. So, um, yeah, it's really unfortunate that I played that terribly, and week one was off to that bad of a start. But um, week two and week three will be hopefully better. I haven't actually played those games yet. I'm due to play them both tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm, I, I felt out of the three that I built for, this is probably my hardest matchup out of the three. But we'll soon see how it goes. We've got some good battlers in this league. Well played uh, to Xilix. Make sure you check out his links below. Make sure you check out all the stuff to do with the baby league as well. And make sure you check out my team so you can see all my moves and EVs and stuff like that. But otherwise, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If there's anything wrong in it, any issues with the video, then I'm afraid it's going to be had. It's going to have to be tough luck because I'm not going to be home to uh, edit it edit it because I'm going on holiday, which is why I'm in a rush to get these all ready. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.